Hi everyone, it's Angie the Craft NATO, and today I have an order from DP Clubs. This is going to be uh, the first of three um, little unbaggings that I have from DP Clubs. Don't forget, um, with DP Clubs, I do have a discount code, Angie15, and that will save you 15% off your order there. So don't forget to use that code in the checkout when you order from there. Um, just to help you guys save a little bit of extra money. Let's get right into it. And it looks like the first one that I have is a full drill. It's folded outwards instead of inwards, which is fine. Just a little less common, I'd say. It's a 30 by 40, and isn't that adorable? I love it. 24 colors, all letters and numbers for the key, two legends, and it is this adorable owl holding a present with presents underneath, a couple of birds, and a Christmas tree in the background. He's got a good chance for some, actually that looks like all confetti back there. The whole background is all confetti. There's going to be no multi-placing. Looks like some multi-placing in the owl himself, but the background is multiple colors. Some multi-placing in the snow on the ground here, but for the most part, you're, it's going to be all confetti. And I think that this one is going to turn out adorable. So let's just test the sticky. It's very sticky, so no worries there. Um, and let's talk about the drills. The uh, toolkit that comes with it is your standard toolkit with a boat, a pen, and a plate of wax. Everything you need for diamond painting if you've never diamond painted before. And the drills, spectacularly with this one, come pre-bagged. So that's nice because you don't have to worry about having storage solutions. You can kit up right in the baggies, and or not kit up. You can just work right from the baggies, and that makes it simple, simple, simple to get going on this. Super cute. I love it. Love, love, love it. I'm not like a huge owl fan, but I thought this one was extra cute. So we have white. We have this beautiful color blue. I'd say that's like a, like a sea blue. We have some pink, some coral, bright yellow for probably the lights in the Christmas tree. Some red, light blue, lilac purple, some aquamarine, some navy blue. These drills look really nice. Nice flat backs on the drills. They look pretty shiny. Uh, some country blue, greenish blue. But bluish green, actually, that's more green than blue. More like a sea foam, I would say. Dark chocolate brown. Cream. Light blue. Medium blue. Really pale blue. Another brown. Another brown. Christmas red. And other caramel brown, sage green, very light gray, and a, a little a yellow that has like a just a little tinge of green in it. I'm not sure where that's gonna go. Number one. I wonder where that goes. Looks like some of the lights on the Christmas tree. So just a little bit brighter of a yellow in those lights. So the lights are mixed with the that yellow with the other goldish yellow. So that'll be pretty. I like it when they mix the colors up. It gives it more definition and more, uh, I don't know. It just makes it look better when you have multiple colors in there, I think. So that is the first one that I got. Very, very cute. That's definitely a win, I'd say. It's a nice, um, I'd say it's a medium canvas when it comes to whether it's, uh, supple or stiff. It's about a medium, kind of, kind of perfect, kind of a happy medium between being super stiff and super supple, super supple. Say that three times fast. I dare you. 
So that's the first one that I got. And let's move on to the next and see what is next. I like to be surprised with you guys because I don't always remember what I ordered. And I don't remember with this order at all. I just randomly chose three paintings out of there. And so I'm not sure what we're going to get. Let's see. Oh, cute. This is super cute. So it is Santa's Christmas boots with some presents and a gingerbread man and some holly and some pine sprigs and some candy canes all jumping out of those boots. Very, very pretty Christmassy scene, wintry scene. It wouldn't even necessarily have to be for Christmas. It could just be totally for the winter season. This one is also kind of a medium uh, rigidity of the canvas. It's not super supple, but it's not super stiff either. It is also very sticky, so good stick on this one. Also has 24 colors and has only letters for the key, um, two keys. So, and it's a 30 by 40 also with a standard tool kit. So let's look at the drills on this one. These ones are not pre-bagged. You probably hear me a little bit stuffy tonight. I think I'm coming down with a bit of a cold. Uh, feeling a little bit snuffly. But snuffleupagus. But let's look at the colors on this one. We should have a good variety of colors on this one. So we have some lime green. Very pretty lime green. A very nice uh, light coral color. Carbol army green, a pale yellow green, a, a beige, very light gray, a sage green, a little bit darker kind of brownish green, a darker green, a whole bunch of this very pretty blue. Uh, it's a nice, it's not quite navy, probably like a dark royal blue. That's probably going to be the majority of your background just because there's such a big bag of it makes me say that. We have a very a nice deep red and an even deeper kind of cranberry red. That's very pretty. I like that. Another kind of bold royal blue. So that'll be mixed in with the background. It looks like the background is a combination of two different drill colors. So it's not going to be a solid color background. You're going to have a combination of this color and this color together. That'll make it really nice. That's a little bit more time consuming to do when you have that, you know, confetti background, but it ends up looking a lot better, I think. We have a little bit of light magenta, a little bit of very pale sage, medium gray, bluish gray, dark navy blue, and uh, burgundy. Kind of a kind of a bright burgundy. So those are the 24 colors that make up that guy. And I think that one's really pretty for the holidays. Another hit, I'd say, with this order. I like to make sure I roll these the right way. When I put these back in the container, I like to make sure that I have the um code that goes with the canvas on the outside so when I'm looking for my drills oh we had another strand of drills here so we have some more green some uh, dusty rose some white and some cream and those are the final four colors that I missed there but I like to have it so that it shows the code for the canvas on the outside so that when I'm looking at my drill packs, because I do keep my drills stored separately from my canvases, it's easy for me to find and match up the drill numbers. I keep them stored separately so that I can keep my drill or my canvases stored flat so that when I go to work on them, they're already flattened out and I don't have to try to, you know, put them under something heavy to be able to work on them. They're all just ready to go when I'm ready for them. And that's just, I mean, matter of personal preference and the amount of space you have, but that's what I like to do. 
So I have one drawer for my canvases and one drawer for my drills, and then I just keep these in order, and it's easy enough to flick through them. That's just how I organize them. I'm sure other people have other methods, but that is mine. So let's get on to the next one. I'm not sure if these are all going to be Christmassy themed. I don't think they are. I have a feeling, I have a feeling that they're not all Christmassy themed. Um, this one is gnomes, and it is a little bit wintry themed, but not necessarily Christmas. This could be good all through the winter season because even though it does have a wreath and some holly and a cardinal there and um, some greenery, um, it just does, it just says welcome. So you could keep this up all winter long, and it has this kind of candy cane stripe border. Um, but the background here is like barn wood. Very, very cool. And the reason I chose this one is because it has a boy gnome and a girl gnome. Very, very hard to find girl gnomes. Um, they're not, they're in short supply. And I love it when I find a girl gnome that I can uh, make sure that I snatch them up. So this one, if you notice, is a little bit bigger. This is like a non-standard size. This one is actually 35 by 50 centimeters. So it is a little bit bigger than your standard 30 by 40. There's still 24 colors in it. There's all letters for the drill fields. And it just comes with your standard drill kit, tool kit. And um, test the sticky, very sticky. Good stick on the canvas. And again, kind of a medium um, density for the suppleness slash rigidity of the canvas. I'm using such big words tonight. I don't know what my deal is. Um, <laughs> but that's what you're getting from me tonight. But it's so cute. They got their long little skinny legs dangling with their big fat boots on the bottom. They look so cute. And these words are going to come out so awesome because they're all in light color um, against a dark background and then they're bordered in red so that's going to turn out I have this is going to turn out awesome like I can tell already that this is going to turn out really really well there's going to be an opportunity for some multi-placing in here which is going to make it go a little bit faster with it being a little bit bigger but I mean there's also you know a fair amount of of um so there's a fair amount of color blocking, but there's also a fair amount of confetti in there mixed in. You got these cute snowflakes that show up in the background all through. Very cute. Super cute. All right, let's take a look at the drills. I think that these drills are going to be a lot of pinks and purples um, in here. So a lot of pinks, purples, and reds should be the primary colors. I think this would be an awesome one for to keep up like for Valentine's Day. I think this would be really, really cute. Now I can't get these drills open. I can't find the edge of the thing. Well, can we see the drills or are we locked in? All right, we're locked out. Got them. Those sneaky little snooks. All right. So we'll start here at the end where we have some white and that's obviously going to be his beard and her hair. Then we have probably 3860 and 3861. That's probably going to be in the background, I would assume. Um, those mauves. Then we have some dusty rose, some magenta, and some dusty purple. Very pretty. There's quite a bit of each of those colors, too. So I think that's going to be kind of representative of the color palette we're going to be working with there um, as far as the style. So then we have some magenta, some more dusty rose, two bags, some cranberry, some darker pink, and some lighter pinkish peach, some cranberry, dark gray, light gray, sage green. These drills are really shiny too. Uh, peach, red, army green, baby pink, 
very dark blue, or is that very dark, dark brown? Let me see, 14, 844. 844 is, I think, a very dark brown. Can you guys tell by looking at that? I can't quite tell, but it's, it's yeah, I think it's a very dark chocolate brown. A very dark green, a uh, rosy pink, another dark brown, another dark dusty purple, very pretty color purple. What DMC is that? 18. 18 is 3041. That's a really pretty color. And then uh, another green. So those are going to, are two greens that are, well, actually we've got three greens in there, four greens. So those are going to be a nice mix of greens. These are going to be really nice complementary colors um, to go together to make this diamond painting. That's going to turn out really nice. Very, very cute. So that is the third one that I have to show you from this order. And now we'll get into the last one. As soon as I pile up these drills back into a snake and get them back in the package. Snake them back up. Hope you guys are all doing well today. I am doing fabulous on this Saturday. That's going to be a big one, though, but I hope to get that done this winter. Now, the last one we have seems a bit oversized, so I'm kind of anxious to see what it is. But this one seems a little bit bigger, so this is obviously going to be a full drill. Well, I shouldn't say obviously, but it is. It is a full drill. Oh, and I was telling you guys about this one. This is the other snowman wreath that I have had on order. And oh my goodness, is it not the cutest? So cute. So this one is a 50 by 50 with a standard toolkit. 50 by 50 with 25 colors. And it's a pretty supple canvas. This one is actually a pretty supple canvas. Um, I should roll it backwards to get that last wrinkle out, but let's see what happens if I just let some of that tension out. See if we can get it to lie flat. I'll test the sticky at the same time. It's nice and sticky. No worries there. If I can keep my arm out of it. See if we can get that to lie a little bit flatter. There, that looks good. Now this one does have a full white background. I'm guessing it's white, yep, 3865. So all of this background is going to be white multi-placing, which I don't mind. I don't mind that at all. Um, but the rest of this is going to be all confetti. But isn't that going to look great? That's just going to look amazing. I love this one. Um, I was waiting for this. Super excited to get this one because of the snowman. I think that this is going to replace one of the Christmas gifts I plan to give. And... If I can get it done before Christmas, which, fingers crossed, <laughs> if I work hard, I will be able to. So we have all letters and numbers for the codes on the legend for this guy. The drill field is nice and clear. Um, let's take a look at these drills. Now, these are the drills that have the uh, DMC code printed on the package. I tend to love these drills. I tend to have really good luck with that brand of drills. Um, where they have the, the ones where they have the DMC numbers on the package. So let's just see what they look like. We'll go through them together. So we have this very pretty, uh, it's like a, like a gray blue. It's more blue than gray, but like a gray blue. Quite a bit of black, more black than I would have thought that you would have had, but there is quite a bit of black in that. Some deep green. Some burgundy, caramel brown, dark, dark gray, another dark gray, light gray, red, even lighter gray, very, very pale, very pale blue, a royal blue, very pretty royal blue, a medium blue, and a pale blue. Then we have quite a bit of this cranberry red. That's very pretty. Is that 814? Of course it's 814. 
I love 814. It's one of my favorites. And these drills are very, very shiny. Really good looking drills. Bright red, dark green, bright green blue, and a country blue, and a magenta pink. Then we have, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five packs of white, which of course you're going to need that much white for that all that background. And then we have a salmony, magenta, rosy, pink. That's a good way to describe it. What's the DMC on that? That might help you a little bit more. 3832. Um, that's the way I would describe it. Then we have a, what DMC is this? $37.99, very dark gray. Very, very light blush purple. And a purplish gray. It's $37.43 if that means anything to you. But a purplish gray. So we've got lots of colors in this one. And I can't wait to get to it because... I think that, that is going to be just so, so pretty. And again, this is one that you can keep up for the entire winter season, not necessarily Christmassy, um, but more just, you know, wintry. And that's what I have today uh, from my order from DP Clubs. Uh, remember about the discount code, I'll put it in the description along with a link to all of these canvases. Um, so if you have any other questions besides that, feel free to send me a comment on this email and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. In the meantime, thank you for watching and subscribing and I will see you guys all in my next video. All right, have a great night, guys. Bye.